Now, can you help us understand how a healthy gut microbiome impacts blood sugar control? Yeah, so this is really interesting. And the, the research on this is still emerging, okay? But so, so there's, there's a few clues, okay? So we know from kind of epidemiological um, studies um, and that look at the gut microbiome that people with a normal glucose tolerance test, <clears throat> when you look at their gut microbiome, they tend to have a greater abundance of butyrate, short-chain fatty acid-producing bacteria, fiber-loving butyrate-producing bacteria. So that's one clue, okay? But in fact, further studies using uh, metagenomic testing, which is where we test all the genetic material in your gut microbiome so we, really, so we can really accurately describe what bugs you have in there, have shown that if you take an individual, Robbie, and you test their gut microbiome and test nothing else, you can accurately predict whether or not they have normal blood sugar control just by looking at their gut microbiome. In fact, there's two particular, particular types of bacteria called Roseburia and Fieselobacterium presnutzi, okay, which come up time and time again in microbiome research papers as beneficial uh, types of bacteria. Those two types of bacteria are highly discriminant between people with dysregulated blood sugars or normal blood sugars. And what do those two types of bugs do? Well, they are fiber-loving, butyrate, short-chain fatty acid producers, okay? So that's a big clue that, the, you know, and we talked about the mechanisms of all these other benefits we get from butyrate earlier, right? And we also see when we look at interventional studies, there's been numerous interventional studies looking at the glycemic uh, blood sugar controls uh, benefits, excuse me, the glycemic control benefits of eating a really high fiber diet. And time and time again, we see that these papers show that the improved blood sugar control that comes with eating more fiber, the kind of papers that have influenced the, you know, the American official guidelines for treating patients with type 2 diabetes to recommend a high fiber uh, Mediterranean diet. These studies show beneficial shifts in the gut microbiome towards fiber loving, short chain fatty acid producing, butyrate producing bacteria mirror the improved blood sugar control. So there's a lot of clues there about the fact that this is happening. So how do the fiber loving bacteria help our human body to control the blood sugar. So I mentioned earlier, these short chain fatty acids have a really important role in the gut and other parts of the body, and they do enter the bloodstream. And because they enter the bloodstream, it means they can affect every organ in our body. And when it comes to helping to control our blood sugars, the short chain fatty acids actually bind to specific receptors in the lining of the gut, to increase the production of gut hormones that help to regulate our appetite and stop us from eating too much food. So those would include enzymes that you guys are doing about like GLP-1 and peptide YY, okay? So short chain fatty acids improve the production of those um, signal, signaling molecules, which then travel to our brain and signal satiety, reduced appetite and reduced food intake which is really important. That's one thing that short chain fatty acids do. The short chain fatty acids act on receptors in your pancreas and increase the production of insulin and decrease the production of glucagon. So again, helping, you know, just to slightly tip things towards normal glycemia, blood sugar control. We also know that the short chain fatty acids impact on the liver, helping to dial down gluconeogenesis and increase glycogen synthesis, okay? They, so basically, when I look at that, I think, yeah, our short chain fatty acids are helping us to store energy for the future, okay? Because that, the human body is always ready for famine, you know? Anything that happens when your body eats food is generally thinking, okay, I've got food now. I got to do something with this food because I won't, there may not be food tomorrow. And, you know, that's kind of what the short chain fatty acids are doing to the liver. And then interestingly, when we look at skeletal muscle and when we look at adipose tissue, um, there's emerging science now to show that short chain fatty acids help to upregulate the GLUT4 
um, insulin regulated glucose transporter that helps to get the sugar into the cell where it needs to be. So there's all these multiple mechanisms that show that by bathing your body in short chain fatty acids, not only are you getting all those other benefits, but you're also tilting things towards insulin sensitivity and normal glycemia.